the enigmatic elegance of Johannes van Swinderen's masterpiece. In the realm of classical art, few pieces encapsulate the enigmatic allure and technical mastery as does the painting attributed to Johannes van Swinderen, an antique artist whose work has been shrouded in mystery and intrigue. This particular piece, once falsely monogrammed and dated to Peter de Greber in 1647, has been reattributed by scholar Slatkeys after a meticulous examination of its stylistic nuances. Johannes van Swinderen, circa 1600-1655, was a Dutch painter who specialized in history and allegorical scenes. He was influenced by the Flemish and Italian traditions of painting, as well as by the Utrecht Caravagisti, a group of Dutch painters who followed the style of the Italian master Caravaggio. He was a part-time and provincial artist, who worked mainly in Groningen, where he was also a lawyer and a burgomaster. He left only a few paintings, most of which are unsigned and undocumented. The painting depicts an antique artist dressed in extravagant oriental attire. A large turban adorned with feathers sits atop the artist's head. He holds a palette and brushes in one hand, symbols representing artistry. A skull rests on a table beside him, indicative of mortality or venitas. Above this skull are drawn torso sketches, suggesting death overcomes all human forms. Despite this somber note, crowning these elements are symbols representing artistry, indicating that art triumphs over death. The background is darkened, creating a contrast with the light that falls on the artist's face and costume. The painting is a masterpiece of composition and expression, creating a sense of elegance and drama. Van Swinderen uses a three-quarter profile pose, which gives the artist a dignified and confident appearance. The artist's gaze is directed towards the viewer, inviting them to admire his skill and style. The artist's costume is richly detailed, showing his affinity for exotic and oriental cultures. The turban and the attire are reminiscent of Van Swinderen's documented work, The Judgment of Solomon, 1627, showcasing his signature highlighted, angular drapery style. The painting is full of details and textures, from the fur and the feathers of the turban to the jewels and the fabrics of the costume. The painting also conveys a range of emotions, from pride and arrogance to melancholy and contemplation, as the artist reflects on his life and his art. The painting is a painting that transcends time and space, offering a glimpse into the past and a message for the present. It is a painting that celebrates the power and the beauty of art, as well as the values and the virtues of humanity. It is a painting that depicts an antique artist, who embodies the enigmatic elegance and the technical mastery of Johannes van Swinderen's masterpiece.